Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. And today we're going to check the compression on a 1976 MGB. Now this thing's got a real bad clutch. I just went out and drove it. I was afraid I wasn't even going to get back to the shop. But the cars come to us from New York City and uh, our, we've done our complete lubrication on it and we want to make sure that the engine's all right and, and uh, to be able to give the owner a complete picture of, of what's going on. So to check the compression we're going to pull off the, the plug wires and I would encourage you to pay attention to where the plug wires come from. Nominally, the number one plug comes from one o'clock on the cap, and the rest of them run one, three, four, two. But sometimes, somebody's already had the thing apart, and that isn't the way it is. So we're gonna take out all four spark plugs. And then if we have time, just a minute, we'll talk about why. So there's the number one plug out. I use a speed wrench, I enjoy using a speed wrench here because you don't end up putting too much of an angle on the spark plug. You can very easily um, snap the plug if you're using a half inch drive ratchet and angle the ratchet too much. That isn't uncommon at all. And although you can't hear it, I can hear the uh, top of the radiator gurgling here. So we've got some sort of problem with our uh, radiator cap or something here. Maybe not. All right, so here we have our tube. We're going to put this in our number one. Now remember, we took all the spark plugs out, and we want to make sure the car is in gear. Oh, excuse me, that's quite wrong. Out of gear, which it is. We take our white with brown wire. That's been our most commented video, I think. Not the most watched, but the most commented. So we can spin the engine over, and we're going to put our compression gauge on it. And we'll go ahead and check the compression. We're going to let this thing bump over 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we've got 130 pounds. Okay, does the actual number make any difference? Oh, normally you'd find something between 100 and 150. But the actual number doesn't, isn't as important as the variation is. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's 120, 130, 120. We're going for a maximum variation of 10%. We've almost got it right there. Um, 10 pounds on a on about 125 average there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is only 100 pounds. Number three, because of its design is the first exhaust valve that fails. Something's not good there. That was only, what I say, 100 pounds? So that isn't, that isn't very good at all. And then we're going to go to number four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's about 125. So we've got 130, 120, what did I say, 100? Did I say 100? And uh, what was this last one, 125? We have a problem. The design of the cylinder head on the on the B series engine, that's all the MGAs and all the MGBs, is such that uh, the first valve that fails is the number three exhaust. The inlet valves never fail because they're always washed in a cold mixture of, of a gasoline and air. It's ice cold as that stuff's ru rushing into the engine. The exhaust valve, on the other hand, the exhaust valve only opens up three eighths of an inch, and all those hot gases from inside the cylinder are pushed up around that valve and into the exhaust system. So it's, it's a wonder that it works anyway. Uh, but as soon as there's a problem, you get valve rescission uh, from there not being any lead in the gasoline anymore. And unless the, the, the uh, cylinder head already has hardened seats in it, the valves will recede into the head. And that's what's starting to happen here. So even though the owner has told me the cylinder head's been off twice in the past year or two years because of a leaking that's going on between the block and the head, seems to me it's going to have to come off again to get the valves ground. Uh, once the valves are ground, you have hardened seats installed, you're home free, it'll last forever, and the new pay-in gaskets have an extra little thickness that runs along the right-hand side of the engine so that you don't get the water leaking out, out of the right-hand side. Anyway, that's it, and uh, we can double-check and make sure that everything's all okay, put it back together. Now, before you take a, an engine apart, um, after you've checked the compression, I mean, taking the engine apart is a huge and expensive process. 
whether it's just taking the silver head off or taking the pistons out or whatever you're going to do. So you want to make sure that your diagnosis is correct. Now we've already checked the compression on this once. We've already adjusted the valves. But were I to find this in the beginning, I would say, well, let's go ahead and torque the head and adjust 